Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are running one of our favorite loads. Well, we are running cordwood. Uh, I say that, you know, jokingly. Not a big fan of the cordwood run, but we uh, got to get it done. It's just not one of those glorious or high paying jobs in the game but it uh has to be done one way or another so here we are from one climax to another we're taking out the big toy today and running it on down the line apparently we may now be getting a big boy in the game so we will have big boy and big toy looking forward to that although I have a feeling that thing is not going to work on a lot of our tracks so that'll be a whole different animal alright let's see if we can ease this one out of the station and head on down to the smelter get moving that's for sure take old number seven on down to the smelter and kind of start filling in some of our our back supplies if you will that we haven't been out on here for a minute um, the cordwood gives us we have 10 cars so that's 80 cordwood Whoa. Climax going crazy. I would not be sad if they toned down the audio on the climax slightly and maybe the power output. Um, the attractive effort is great, but I, I don't know that this thing should be spinning quite as fast as it does. It, um, it sure seems like it would break if it was going anywhere near that fast, but maybe it did. I don't know. I've seen some video of the Climax locomotive in operation, and it uh, it was a very slow uh, machine. It did not operate in a screaming fashion. Now, that could be because, obviously, nowadays... You know, that thing is an uber antique, and I'm sure nobody's looking to replace parts on it. I don't know. I don't know if back in the day when they operated them, maybe they were just this screaming machine. I don't know. Um, so I guess this could be completely right. It just seems like it's all a little fast for what would have been some old metal working parts. But, you know, I could be just out of my mind, I don't know, I'm not exactly sure if those would have been made out of iron or what they would have been made out of back in the day, I just, I don't know about iron parts moving that fast, but they very well could have, um, I know the one that I've seen in operation is more like a kachinka, 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 when it works but like I say too I mean they keep it moving at maybe you know three or four miles an hour or something not um, definitely not pushing the machine in the slightest sense of the word so um, who knows anybody actually ever seen one of these operate <laughs> at at, uh, at a go I'd be interested to to hear about what that was like. I have to think these things are, are really getting up there in age, so I'm sure nobody's trying to replace parts on anything anymore. That's for sure. I can't imagine there's uh, extra parts still sitting around on a shelf or something like that. It's probably one-off uh, retooling for something like this in 
all but the fewest of cases, I'm sure. But this one has our little mushroom top <clears throat> smokestack on it. Just for looks, we went with the variants on both, so they look a little bit different. I kind of like this one. Ash catcher around the outside. I'm sure these things, all the wood burning locomotives back in the day, I'm sure you used to throw a ton of uh, soot and ash, let alone burning embers um, out of the stack. So, you know, they came up with some creative smokestacks definitely to uh, alleviate that problem. probably a good thing if you lived anywhere near the uh, train back in the day or just about anywhere I'm sure the wildlife in the forest appreciated that being how we know uh, dry weather and flying around ashes is not a good idea So the cordwood, we do pull the 10 cars for the 80 cordwood. We do that so that we don't have to make a lot of these runs. Uh, so we do step to the climax. Not that we need to, but it's just, you know, kind of a... It was one of the tasks we, we kind of uh, decided the climax locomotives were the locomotive we were going to run out at the logging camp. So anything that's parked out there, I just thought with the front wood and rear wood, uh, effectively bumpers, catchers, if you will, whatever you want to call them, it, uh, it looked the best for out there. So that's what we did. And uh, the Climax is a heck of a good looking motor. enables us to just kind of pull everything out of there in big loads and, and kind of be done with it so we don't have to run a hundred times just to kind of start filling our base uh, products. And then the Climax has good brakes uh, which hauling this kind of weight down the hill is definitely a positive. And it's uh, a little bit easier to get back to the brake on the cordwood car should we need to throw that brake for some kind of reason. But we definitely haven't had any problems since we switched this over to the Climax. Um, runs the hill great. Never really run into too much of an issue with it. Uh, most of the time I don't even set a brake on the car behind it I just kind of let it creep down on the Climax's brake and it's not like you know we're on rail so it isn't like we have too many surprises coming to have to hit an emergency stop but if we were to have to do that we would have to throw the brake on the back just because once you get this many cars moving down the hill, there's uh, there's not much stopping it. In a hurry, anyway. That's for sure. The cars get heavy, loaded with wood. Not to be underestimated. It's like you look, you turn around, you start picking up all that other stuff, and you go, oh, these cars are, should be light. They're not light, you know? They're still heavy, big cars, full nice shot down to the smelter a little bit of an overhead view spin it back around for the big valley uh, I'm still pretty happy with this run 
it's a little more curvy than we would like and I'm either thinking we want to drop it down to a 2% grade. If we do the 2% grade, my idea is to kind of take it down this valley here a little bit and then bring it back this way. That'll give us more time to drop the grade. Uh, just because in the process of dropping the grade down to 2%, we're going to need a lot more space to do that with. So, um, it'll be nice to actually use that little offshoot valley over there. It actually looks really, really cool, and I've always wanted to actually have something running in there. Just never had a reason for it. Exactly sure which way this switch is turned, so we'll go ahead and hit the brake. Oh, okay, we're good to go. Good, good, good. To see even there, you know. Now we have a hundred percent brake on the car, hundred percent brake on the train, or on the locomotive, if you will, and we are, you know, clearly not coming to a, a speedy stop. It's just not how. It works. Not sure if we can get this flipped in time. Woo, we did. All right, that gets that flipped, and then we'll just run down here and go ahead and flip this switch. Still have a big pile of coal out here. Uh, I still want to get that all the way up to it. I've never capped it out yet. It just gets. It holds so much that by time, you know, whatever, I I don't know. It produces a lot, and it doesn't, uh, you know, so I've never needed to max it out, and I never, I don't know, I never had the patience to actually run it all the way up to a 1,000. Be running cars for quite a while to get that done. <clears throat> That is one thing I do a lot when I'm running the Climax, is actually just leave some brakes sit on it. And uh, it tends to behave a little better, if you will, if you're running, you know, like even in this case, we're running 35% brake. That seems a little more like, you know, what we would like rather than it just taking off like, a, like it's going 100 miles an hour when it's, you know, only at 30% usage. So, I don't mind running a little bit of brake on the ISO kind of all the time. It's got enough tractive effort to pull it through it, and I think it does just help it behave better. 25-35% brake, somewhere in there. I think it helps it sound better. It seems to pull a little more aggregate the wheels don't get blown off that kind of thing because this still is the burnout train no doubt about it and this is our you know i'd like to say it's our worst drop off in the game i guess i can't really say that anymore some of those ones out at the oil refinery although you know you go through more work, you still have less of a, of a tendency to drop stuff on the ground. This one here is uh, pretty easy to waste a few cars in the process of dropping off. Uh, we really probably should put in a switch, a uh, switching, uh, shunting, sorry, uh, platform here or tracks, if you will, so that we can bring this big car, big, bring down the big load with uh, the Climax, park it, and then just kind of, you know, bring a porter down here and let it do its thing. Um, moving around. Boy, when that popped up, I saw the 149,000 XP. I thought that was cash for a minute. I was like, oh, wow, something happened. <laughs> We got money deposited in our account, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, we are getting up there in some money, so we definitely can afford another locomotive to do a little something different. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that's going to be.
probably another class 70 for something or though although or though or we do kind of need a new uh another cook mogul out there for at the oil stuff so we'll just kind of have to have to make some decisions as to what we're going to do uh, based on when we think we're actually going to get the tech tree out but then the more that stuff goes on you know i don't i'm starting to lean towards we're probably just going to start all over anyway and so then whatever kind of money bank we have involved isn't really maybe going to follow with us anyhow so sure then we went too far forward See, that's, that's the story of this drop-off. <clears throat> Just not, uh, oh, and then that other car didn't even drop. I don't know. I know the game's acting a little bit silly today. Uh, I was, when I first logged on today, I, uh, and I should have filmed it probably, but... It was just too confusing of a situation. I jumped into the other Climax, driving it out to the sawmill or to the logging camp from the sawmill, and it wouldn't, it just like wouldn't go forward. Um, so, a few glitchy type things today, but whatever that was about, I had never seen it before, so. Well, I think at this point I'll go ahead and call it a video. I will unload the rest of these and I will catch you on the next one. So thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you can, like, share, subscribe. Sure, it does help the channel. Thank you much.